Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So it's time for another garage sale haul. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, hit some garage sales. Got a little footage to show you. Uh, turned out pretty good, uh, I think. Well, actually, you know what? Today, my feelings, I feel like I, every time I was spending money, I'm like, meh. Am I really getting a good deal? I'm not sure. I just had one of those days where I didn't feel like I was getting the biggest bang for my buck, except for the definitely on the Goodwill. Uh, I, I, we also stopped in the Goodwill and I got some good stuff to include in this haul too. So let's see what I got. Um, I probably did better than I, I felt, but just, you know, sometimes you get that feeling like, am I wasting money? But probably not, we'll take a look. How about that one, the ladder? What? The ladder, 10 bucks. Actually, you know what? Give me five bucks for me. Oh, okay. Tell you the truth. I'm trying to make it. It's a hard when you're short. Oh, tell me about it. I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm short too. Trust me. I know. I asked. How much were you selling DVDs for? Two bucks, or I'll do seven for five. Seven for five? Okay. For you, it's three. <laughs> 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 well. oh, wow. <laughs> Right here. It's not mounted to the thing? Yeah. Huh? Huh? I put it to the thing. Yeah, the only thing here is the motor home. Oh, yeah. And they don't even, yeah, they don't, they don't do the work. How much is this? Five bucks. Do you know if this has all the stuff or? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Okay. I haven't I haven't opened them, but um, they all say that they work on them when I got them. Got it. Amazon returns or something? Or? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, how much are these little figures? These um, fifty cents each. Fifty cents each. Yeah. How about this pop? Three bucks. Three bucks. How about this sheath? Um, two bucks. Where's the, where's the nine? How about this thing? Ten. Three dollars. Three dollars. Okay. okay. Uh, 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 just a case? Yeah, I know a bunch of other ones that people just like already wiped it out, like the Star Wars, whatever, and all that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, how much that put in the little thing? Fifty cents. Everything, how much? <laughs> for all of it? Uh, how about you give me 10 bucks for all of it? So, one, two, three. All right, four, I'll give you 10 bucks for all of it. Five. How much for the Hatchimals? Uh, this one here? Or, yeah. You know, this one, um, I'm missing the bottom. Oh, it's missing the bottom. Huh? Oh, I see. Yeah, this one here. How about all three of them? Uh, they're all works, but yeah, this fine. one, I'm missing the bottom. Uh, are you sure? Oh, because I think that, yeah, I think that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, oh, okay. 
Oh, I thought, oh it's not missing. I thought it's missing. No, it's a different style. Yeah. How much do you want for those three? Uh, I'm asking five each. Five each, okay. I lost my, I lost my nail. Great nails. Hey, that sounds familiar to me. Oh, you can go back over there. From the thing? Huh? Huh? How much was it? The one that... Uh, turned out pretty good, uh, I think. Well, actually, you know what? Today, my feelings, I feel like I, every time I was spending money, I'm like, meh, am I really getting a good deal? I'm not sure. I just had one of those days where I didn't feel like I was getting the biggest bang for my buck, except for the definitely on the Goodwill. Uh, I, I, we also stopped in the Goodwill, and I got some good stuff to include in this haul, too. So let's see what I got. Um, I probably did better than I, I felt, but just, you know, sometimes you get that feeling like, am I wasting money? But probably not, we'll take a look. All right, first garage sale, uh, lady was blowing out a bunch of stuff. I think she does like liquidation pallets and stuff. So uh, so I paid about, ooh, I don't know, I made a combined deal with my wife. So we'll, say, we'll just say I paid, I think about $15 for this stuff. One thing I don't really count, here's a little John Cena Thumpers action figure. I don't know if it's worth anything, but uh, one interest, she had a bunch of sealed DVDs over there and I looked up these, they're sealed, but they, the package is a little bit messed up on them, but this is a DVD. I got five of them called Hell Bent. It's a card, one of those, uh, it's like, looks like a, almost like a claymation CGI cartoon, rated R. I looked these up and uh, you know I scanned them there and it looked like they these things sell for about $15 a piece. I think they're a little bit uncommon, so I grabbed these. So I think that's a pretty good good one right there. Then I got this uh, Starbucks mugs. You know Starbucks mugs used to be something that was like a really hot thing to sell on eBay a long time ago, many years ago. For now not so much, but it was just a nice Starbucks mug in the box, 16 ounce mug. Uh, here's the design. I don't even know what a design or edition that is but part of uh, the package deal so we'll see if it's worth it our time got a nice collector box with it then uh, this item I know to be pretty expensive a lot of times now I have to check it out here but it looks to be never used hopefully everything was in it oh but by the way it's a water pick water flosser these things run pretty expensive when they're new. Uh, I, so I paid about approximately five bucks for it. Everything looks new and unused, and uh, but we'll have to, I'll have to check. I'll have to do my best to inspect it. Uh, I think this might be a customer return pallet situation. So who knows, maybe some of the stuff is missing. But I think I'm okay for five bucks. All right, this one yard sale, I got a bunch of, I ended up just making a deal for $10 for a bunch of toys and included with a bunch of different things. Uh, I'll show you the non-toy items that were included in that lot. One thing is this uh, buck knife holster uh, sheath, uh, number 121. I think this has got to be worth about 15 bucks by itself. Just a vintage uh, buck knife sheath. And then, I don't know if the, this is probably not worth anything, but uh, Dr. Grabo pipe filters box. Definitely a, a vintage box. <laughs> Anyways, it was just thrown in. It's actually got the pipe, some of the pipe filters in there. So for the rest was all those toys, I'll, I'll show you that. All right, yeah, so once again in that $10 lot, uh, the buck knife case and the pipe filters, but also I got uh, all these toys here, including this uh, Justice League Pez set was included in there and this pop that has bad packaging but i think this might be actually worth a little money i might sell this thing loose funko pop uh batman pop heroes what kind of batman is that batman red sun all right and then all these little figures we got these things called a uh, hot wheels battle rollers star wars edition we got emperor palpatine here's vader 
Ray, a couple Rays, three Rays, a couple Emperor Palpatines, then some random stuff uh, and these little Justice League figures. No idea. I'll probably be lotting this stuff up together and, and try to blow them out in there. All right, maybe I'll just put it all together. Oh, here's some little Hot Wheels slime. What is this? Oh, slime car, slime flick cars or rally cars. I think I might just put all this stuff together and try to flip it in a lot. Um, maybe you want the pop, you know, maybe I can make a little junk drawer toy lot, sort of, you know. Here's some little cards. Maybe I could even throw in the John Cena thumper in there too and uh, see what I can do. Okay, then this other yard sale, I made a deal with the lady for 15 bucks. I got all this stuff. I got these uh, two uh, Thai Beanie Baby, uh, they're not Beanie Babies, but uh, Thai, uh, I forgot what these owls are, but they, they were both, uh, looked like they could go together. One's named Swoops and one's named Spells. And I see these things may be worth seven to eight dollars a piece, so I'm thinking I could make a $15 sale on these two guys together maybe. Then also in that lot, she had some Hatchimals. I got one, two, three different Hatchimals. So I got plenty of Hatchimals now, I'll make some nice lots here. Then she had some nice books and I'm just taking a risk, uh, a, stat, a shot in the dark on these books. They're, there's Barnes and Noble books. Uh, I know that doesn't mean anything, but these are Barnes and Noble New York printed books. This one's 2000. Eight. It looks in very nice condition, very high quality. You got the, you know, the gold page uh, edges and everything. Uh, the Divine Comedy. I haven't looked these up yet, but I'm I'm taking a taking a gamble on them. And I say taking a gamble, but you, I'm not really gambling on the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible is the Holy Bible. So, but this one looks like a. This is a Barnes and Noble's edition Holy Bible King James version, and it looks very nice. Again, I. For approximately paying five bucks for it, I think, I think I gotta be nice. Nothing's been marked in on this Bible, and it, it's just very high quality. Uh, I enjoy selling Bibles because I hope that I can get somebody the Bible that they want and are gonna be excited to get, you know, for their for their uh, worship and everything. Uh, get that to them, right? For a reason, for a, somewhat of a deal. So this was a 2012 Barnes and Nobles uh, Holy Bible King James Version. It's even got the, uh, the both these books have the built-in bookmarks too, so they're cool. Okay, then I went into Goodwill and I actually scored pretty good for Goodwill standards. But Goodwill is where I always pick up the honorable mentions for myself and uh, this time was no exception. I got, uh, first uh, uh, all Blu-rays were $3.99. I got a sealed uh, Christmas vacation. Everyone enjoys that one on Christmas. Uh, grew up uh, watching that on Christmas and everything and so got it in my blu-ray collection a sealed copy then I got a uh, 15th anniversary reservoir dogs I used to have the collector's can of reservoir dogs for DVD but I sold that to Steve um, so now for my blu-ray collection I got a copy of reservoir dogs again and uh, one I haven't seen yet but look forward to these horror movies even if they're PG-13, these, you know, Exorcist-esque ones. It's called The Haunting in Connecticut. Haven't seen that one yet, so we'll check that one out, add it to the collection. Then I scored on a video game and a DVD set. One video game I had to pitch back. Uh, it was a, a PlayStation 3 game. It was probably a $20, $25 game, but it was had disc damage. But I did find, uh, for the Wii, A Boy and His Blob. I think it's about a $20 game. Uh, it was $3.99 complete with manual uh, I remember well on original NES there's a boy in his blob so this was probably a continuation of that series uh, so that was pretty neat to find uh, by the way that's not an honorable mention though I'll be reselling that and then the home run semi home run we got the Twilight Zone complete definitive collection 28 DVD set it was $5.99 and everything is there all discs and they look in great shape everything looks barely used I think it's about a $50 DVD set, so uh, pretty nice one for $5.99. We can even ship it media mail, so not bad. All right, I sold this uh, Nerf 25-round uh, belt clip. This goes for the Vulcan, uh, but this is the clear one, the clear style, translucent. 
Total price paid by the customer is $17.14. Curious if this may fit in a 6x4x4 by four by four box. Might not. Oh yeah, it does. That's pretty cool. Ten ounces. Okay, then I sold that Pikachu blanket that I got not too long ago. Little throw blanket. Total price paid by the customer $30.32. And it looks like we can get away with a first class ship on that one too. Just use one of my big mailers. Fifteen ounces. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about any interesting uh, eBay tips, tricks, finds, or just leave a comment down in the comment section to say hi. Always appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one.